So you guys, I have something super excited to talk about. And today I'm gonna to talk about the Solo Tib from the Tib Bar Guy. I wanna give a review on this piece of equipment. As you guys know, I've been doing the ATG slash Ben Patrick slash Knees Over Toes program for a long time now. And I have started to invest in some of the equipment that's recommended by Ben Patrick to kind of level up the gains in this program. And the Tib Bar Guy was kind enough to send me one of his Solo Tib Bars, which I have been using these past two weeks. I've been loving it and I can't wait to talk to you guys about it. But first I want to talk about why it's even important to train your tibialis anterior. And if you don't know what that is, that's okay. It is your shin. It's basically your shin muscle. It's the muscle you feel when you have shin splints on the front of your legs, right? And I want to talk a little bit about why it's so important. Um, if you've been doing Ben Patrick's program, you already know. If you've watched his videos, you probably already know why it's so important. But I want to talk a little bit about why that's been such a crucial part of my training and why this solo tib bar has been so, so, so helpful, particularly for me as somebody who's gone through ACL surgery and has some strength discrepancies on each leg and how this can really help to level up my gains and equalize my strength on both legs. So first off, what does the tibialis anterior do? Well, it's basically responsible for dorsiflexion, which is bringing your toes towards the front of your leg, right? Raising your toes up. And, and as well as the inversion and eversion of your foot. So rolling your foot in, rolling your foot out, um, using your ankle complex that activates the tibialis anterior as well. And some of you guys out there may have never trained your shins before, I get it. Before doing the ATG slash Ben Patrick's program slash knees over toes exercises, I never Ever trained my shins and every single time I would jump into a new sport or go hiking or change my shoe and use a different athletic shoe I would get shin splints and if you're an athlete you know how nagging shin splints can be they're just annoying they just we know we don't like them right but I never really thought to train that muscle as weird as it is I'm like oh this keeps getting sore let's just stretch it out but I never really thought to train that muscle or what are the benefits of doing that and really one of the main advantages of training your tibialis interior is balance and coordination you have better control over your ankle and your foot complex and if you're an athlete you use balance and coordination in everything that you do. So the more balance you have, the more agile you can be, the more agile you can be, the less uh, propensity you have to get injured um, and all that stuff. So the balance gains from working your tibialis anterior are huge. Secondly, the tibialis anterior really helps to kind of take some of that force off your joints in deceleration. And it helps you to decelerate quicker and change movements laterally quicker as well. So if you are in a sport that requires pivoting or um, quick speed changes, really most sports do, it's going to come in handy to have strong tibialis anterior muscles because that deceleration is really controlled a lot by that, that tibialis muscle, as well as, again, switching directions and all that supports the ankle complex and all that good stuff that I mentioned before in my previous point. And thirdly, the tibialis anterior really helps with the landing forces that your body incurs when you jump and then force a landing. And the tibialis is one of the first line of defenses in protecting the joints, especially the knees. So if you are trying to prevent any kind of knee issues or if you have knee issues, working on your tibialis anterior is going to help you in pretty much any jumping sport or sport where you have to land and really brace your body's weight and have all the muscular control uh, before that force you know, really, really impacts the knee joint. So one of the main ways of training your tibialis muscle is using something like the Solo Tib Bar. And I'm gonna open that up for you guys today. So this is what I got from the Tib Bar guy. And I love, love, love this. Like I said, this is something that has been super helpful to have as a single leg thing that I can do at one leg at a time for me personally after going through ACL surgery. Most of us, even if we haven't gone through a major surgery like ACL surgery, most of us have one one stronger leg than the other. So it's always in our best interest to try to train, you know, unilaterally if possible. There is a, you know, a double tib bar, like the full tib bar that you can do both which, with, which I know that a lot of people prefer because it's more efficient in terms of training. But for me personally, I've really enjoyed this. Um, so I'm gonna take this out. First, the first thing that like my impression was when I opened this bag was like how well made this thing is. Like I'm so impressed with <laughs> how well made it is. The detail that went into all of this to even this like 
degree that they have where your toe box kind of comes up is just super comfortable. This goes over the bridge of your foot. And it, if you've ever rollerbladed before, it kind of snaps in. Gave me some like nostalgia of this too, of this like crank mechanism where you can tighten it like that over your foot. And to pop it off, you just press this button here. So really well made, like, I'm super impressed with this. It's a pretty hefty piece of equipment. So to put it together, you have this little case, right? And then there's this bar pouch that comes in with it that I will screw on. And this just, you just put this on in here. Do do do. All right, and then basically when you're at the gym, what you do is you put a plate weight on here and then he gives you this nice little, um, whatever you wanna call it. I, I don't know what I would just call it, like bar stopper or weight stopper. Uh, I should know the name of this. I don't, that's okay. This clamp, let's call it a clamp. It's a clamp. Um, you put this clamp on here and that'll stop the weight from sliding off, right? And the clamp is really well made. I will say um, you're gonna have to put some like oomph into it to close it because it's, it's really well made that it's like super secure. This whole device is able to hold up to a hundred pound plate, basically or hundred pounds total on the end of this. So it's very sturdy. This clamp has to be tight to be able to hold that weight. Most people aren't gonna use a hundred pounds. Uh, you know, I'm pretty much at 10 or 15 pounds on this. So, and I've been doing it for a while. Not saying my tibs are like the swollest tibs ever, but I think they're pretty strong. Um, but you're gonna have to, I almost thought I was broken at first because of how tight you have to, there we go, it's on. So you really gotta put some oomph into it. But again, it's very secure on there. So um, I love this. And the other thing I love about it too is that you also can work on your um, ankle mobility at the same time. So you can not only do the tibialis exercises where you're lifting your foot and doing dorsiflexion, you can roll your ankle as well, and you can get a really great um, range of motion and working that strength into the range of motion each direction with your ankle and start to develop some really good ankle mobility and full strength throughout your whole ankle too. So that's only gonna benefit you again for more balance features and um, preventing, you know, ankle ankle sprains and things like that. So I just absolutely love the solo tib. And like I said, I can I can do double sets on my ACL injured side to kind of get that up to speed with the other one. So that's why I like having it as a solo tib bar for me versus having the, you know, single bar that, that works for both legs at the same time. But it's been really great. I'm super happy with it. And if you're interested in getting a solo tip bar of your own, go ahead down to the link in the description down below and use code Victoria underscore Dorsano for 10% off your order. And I hope it works out for you. It's been an amazing tool for me to use. And um, thank you again to the tip bar guys for sending this my way. Super, super grateful. And yeah, that's all I got. So if you guys got any questions, drop them down in the comments down below. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. It means a lot. And thank you to all you guys who have supported me. Thus far in this YouTube journey. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.